Good morning, my friends. Today I'm in Cuba. Uh, that I'm currently using as a starting point for some of my videos. And uh, the Ibn Badis mosque is on my left. And I'm going to show you how to drive to one of the of Algiers farthest uh, suburbs, Baba Ali. So Baba Ali is almost on the border with uh, Blida, between Algiers and Blida. And of course, Blida is uh, the province, the Algerian province that borders Algiers from the south, or on the south. Anyways, so let's start our trip. It's gonna be a kind of an adventure because I myself don't really know uh, I mean, I don't really uh, go there often. I don't really drive often. Uh, drive there often. Bebeli. It's an industrial area, by the way. So we are driving towards the central part of Cuba. There is a church on my right. It's the, the Saint Philippe Vincent, uh, Saint Paul Vincent Church, I think. And the, the, the city hall of Cuba is here on my right. You can see it. There is a beautiful uh, park here. Uh, there is a mu an amusement park, a small amusement park, because, but because of the lockdown, we're in uh, late July 2021 and there is a new lockdown here because of the third wave of coronavirus infections that's uh, making lots of victims these days. It's the Delta variant. It has made a lot of victims here in Algeria including my wife, uh, who is uh, currently infected, but she's uh, doing well, thank God. So, uh, because of that lockdown, you can see how empty the streets are. And uh, the, that amusement park was, uh, was closed. The amusement park is uh, in front of the town hall. So now we are driving on this road that uh, should directly lead to uh, Martyrs Memorial, but we are not going to the Martyrs Memorial. So if you want to go to the Martyrs Memorial, you take the left. The Algerian Ministry of Foreign Affairs is on my right. If you want to go to Lisanna Serre, you take the left here. Lisanna Serre is the the white apartment complex that we have just uh, passed, and the Martyrs Memorial. You can see its tip or its top showing uh, protruding from the background on the on, on the right. And now those white buildings are part of the Lisanna Serre uh, apartment complex. And in fact, we are no longer in Cuba, but in Lisanna Serre, in the Lisanna Serre. Uh, municipality. So all this area is named after this uh, apartment complex here, or rather, it's the apartment complex that's named after the, the neighborhood or the, the municipality. And this honestly is Arabic for water springs. There is a quiet. Uh, apartment complex on my right with plenty of parking space I think that they even have a market there uh, uh, there is a mosque here and this area is serviced by uh, by by public buses that set off from Cuba and uh, the city center I think and uh, globally this is a quiet area I think that this is the busiest part of this uh, neighborhood here because it's near the market. The market is on the right. There are lots of stores here. If you want to go to Le Ravin, you take the right, but it's no longer, I mean, it's a, uh, there is no entry sign there. So you, you've got to take another uh, turn on the right. 
le ravin de la femme sauvage, or the, the wild woman's uh, ravine. And this is the Garidi 2 uh, roundabout. We are in Garidi, which is still a part of uh, the Lisanne Serre municipality, I think. And that apartment complex over there is Garidi 2. This is the Garidi uh, bus stop. The neighborhood on my right is known as Lissours, I think. There are interesting stores here, but they are closed because I think that it's because of the lockdown. They are not starting early. Now we are driving. Uh, so the Civital, uh, Civital is one of Algeria's major companies, private companies. It's on the left, that glass building over there. So. We are still in the Lissous area and we are approaching the southern bypass motorway. If you want to go to, the, to central Algiers, you take the right. That's also the road that leads to uh, Birmora Dreis. Now, to go to Bebeli, we need to take the Blida road. If you want to go to Birmora Dreis, you, you can also take the right here. But we are taking this. Um, of course, Binakron is on the left. You need to take the the Benaknoon waterway, which is on our left. But now we are entering the underpass or the tunnel in order to get directly to National Highway 1. National Highway 1 is uh, Algeria's longest highway. It runs the country from, from Algiers, from the north, to the Algerian-Nigerian border. To the border between Algeria and Niger, One of our neighbors on the south. Okay, so this is the road. This is the highway. National Highway number one. And the next city is uh, Blida. But there are uh, many, many uh, suburbs and, uh, and towns on the way. When I talk about city, I mean a big city, an important city. got to be careful here because we have these bends or turns that are located in sloping I mean in slopes in, in sloping areas like this one although I haven't seen many accidents around here but uh, a friend of mine who lives in Miftah told me that there are I mean accidents happen here on this road We are in the area of Shaula, one of the uh, Algiers suburbs. We have just passed Birkhaden, by the way. Guess that there should be another entrance to Birkhaden around here. There is that uh, beautiful mosque over there. I've never noticed it before. Now, this area is known for its uh, companies, you know, many, many companies are based here, especially companies that uh, sell spare parts for industrial uh, vehicles. So uh, this is the entrance to Dvaria uh, and Tixrain uh, on the right. That road will lead you uh, to uh, Said Hamdin. And now, the, this entrance will lead you to Birkhadem and Shaula. This one. They are building a new mosque on our left. Because most Algerians are uh, observant Muslims, um, mosques need to be built everywhere. Some neighborhoods I think that an average neighborhood here in Algiers has uh, at least at least two mosques and I think that a good mosque uh, 
accommodates around a thousand uh, worshippers. We're approaching an area known as Jinens Ferry. It's part. It's an area located between uh, Bilhadem and uh, Sihaula. And they built lots of uh, apartments here, apartment buildings. Within the framework of the AADL uh, uh, housing program. The Dirth and Cfax. There is a, I think that there is a gym here known as Cfax. Cfax Club or something like that. They have another gym in Cuba, uh, right in front of uh, the Ben Omar uh, bus station in Cuba. That's why the name is familiar. If you want to go to Cuba, you, uh, sorry, to Indonesia, you take the right. Yes, and Jens Ferry too. We'll vi we will visit that area some other time. And now. We are continuing along the uh, along National Highway 1. There is another apartment complex here. This is the Jdansk Ferry area. It's a new apartment complex. It has recently been uh, finished, and uh, these and it's people from the central parts of the capital city, people from the central parts of Algiers that are being relocated in all these areas in order to solve uh, the the housing crisis. So in, in last, in, in, I mean, in, in the last years, Algeria has been trying to eradicate. Uh, to solve the the, the 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 housing crisis with uh, social housing programs, many social housing programs. Including AADL. And uh, it has also been trying to eradicate uh, slums. I think that they have been successful so far because many slums were eradicated, many slums were removed from Algiers in particular. Now we are entering a the widened section of the, the Algiers Blida motorway that we need to pull over to the right because we are approaching Babeli. Oh, and the road to Shiria is also on the right. So the, the road to Babeli is also the road to Shiria. And Shiria is uh, that little beautiful town located uh, in the Blida Atlas Mountains. There is a bus station over there. I think. Yes, on the left. I'm not sure though. Anyways, so if you want to go to Saula, you take the left, but we are going to Babeli, therefore we are taking the right. They should have put, they should have placed the sign there. To show us that we are, yes, so Hemben Milwen, Bugura, interesting names here. Hemben Milwen is another town uh, in the Blida Atlas, and it's known for its baths. And uh, uh, Shriya is the, 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 that little town in the Blida Atlas where people can go skiing when it snows, of course. Because it doesn't really snow a lot here in Algeria, which is an African country, and as you you know, there is not much snow in, in Africa. So that's it. Uh, there is a roundabout here, and let's start with. Uh, uh, there is an apartment complex here known as Le Cité Verte. Let's visit it. I think that it's the most important residential area here in in this. In, in this neighborhood. Oh.
So this is the road. The road on, on the right, or the motorway on the right, is the, the highway that we have just left in order to enter this area. So we are in the Bebeli area. Let's visit this uh, apartment complex. I have a few friends who live around here. Maybe I, I might... I might meet them as I'm visiting their neighborhood. They were relocated from Ulbier, an upscale neighborhood, but it's not but just uh, because they lived in, in Ulbier doesn't mean that they lived in a good house. I myself grew up in a, a nice, very nice neighborhood in the city center, a very nice neighborhood, but our house wasn't very good. It was old and dark. So we had to sell it and we moved to the area, to, to the neighborhood where my father grew up in the eastern part of the city. So this is the, the apartment complex and it's uh, beautiful. I think that this apartment complex was, com was completed in 2000, 2014, 2015, I don't know. I can't remember when I first visited my friend when they were given a, an apartment here, when they were relocated here. You can see the, road, uh, the roads are, are wide. There are wide uh, uh, sidewalks and uh, there are playgrounds. My friend lives around here. Let's turn around and it's uh, yes the, and as you can see there is plenty of parking space plenty of parking space such a such a I mean such a sight is very rare here in Algiers So this place here is known as uh, the green apartment complex, Le City Verte. And they, they uh, designed it in such a way that they would have some green spaces, uh, kind of, um, in the form of uh, this, uh, these palm trees and uh, all these trees they have planted, and uh, some lawn and some uh, parking, uh, so, some, uh, Playgrounds, playgrounds, yes. People are already up in this area. They got up early, I guess. I can see that the stores are open, cafes are open. What's wrong with this camera? It's getting dark. The image is getting dark. And of course people in the suburbs get up early because, I mean earlier than people in the central parts of the city because, you know, they, they've got to, to get up early in order to uh, have their, uh, you know, in order to do their things, in order to do their jobs. Because if they, if they need to travel and the city and, and, and the, the bus station is in this, city center then they've got to to get up very 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 early in the morning in order to catch the bus or the train or whatever they need to catch in order to travel and if they, they need to buy things then they've got to get up very early before traffic jams start in the city center and that explains why they are they are early birds compared to us people who live in the city center who are rather lazy wait until the next the last minute in order to get up to go to work all right so this is the Bebeli road and this is the road that leads to Shria although I have never traveled to Shria via this road I always go as far as Blida the city of Blida in order to 
to drive on, to continue on to Shriao. But I'll film a video where I will be visiting Shriya via this road. And this is the industrial area of Babadi. There is usually traffic here practically all the time. But uh, uh, whenever they, there is a lockdown, uh, everything slows down. Activities tend to slow down. And this area is usually very traveled by trucks and semi semi tra trailers. So all this is part of the industrial, the Babeli industrial area with many uh, factories located all around here. And Babeli isn't really a... I mean, or at least this part of Babeli isn't really a, a normal town, but rather an industrial area. careful with these uh, uh, speed bumps because they could be really huge really huge in some places there is a pharmacy here on the right and uh, apart uh, you would usually find uh, speeding bumps in uh, places where there are residents, lots of residents, especially kids going to school. They are building a new mosque here. And these mosques are a sign that a place is densely populated. Look, a two-floor mosque. Impressive. This means that there are a lot of residents around here and I think that this is the, the central part of, uh, of Bebeli. I don't think that uh, this town or this area has any other uh, pl central place that's more important than this one. I can see uh, factories on my left and uh, houses on my right. I think that uh, I have filmed all the interesting things one needs to film here in this area. So if you, you drive straight on, you will eventually uh, get in Blida and uh, uh, and Shria, arrive in Blida and Shria. You will cross the border between Algiers and Blida and, uh, you know, if you continue, you will arrive in Shria, in the Blida Atlas. A very nice place to visit, but we can't visit it today. I've got to go to work now. And uh, well, I hope that you liked my video and found it interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications button in order to uh, receive more notifications about uh, uh, more videos like this. Take care of yourself, drive safely, visit Algiers, and goodbye.